Hi, my name is Kevin Fair. I'm with Cry to God Ministries, and I'm here face to face with the man of God. We're standing in downtown uh, San Jose. This is where he walks up and down these streets, Amen. preaching the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. And Ed, I appreciate you letting me have an interview with you. A That's lot okay. of people want to know who is this man who preaches the gospel? Who is this man who walks the streets of San Jose? And and Ed, most people would ask me. Uh, why do you do this? Why do you preach the gospel? Well, basically it's because the Bible says that if we love God, that we feed his sheep. And he commands us to go out in the highways and the byways and compel them to come to the church. Not only that, since we know that there is a real hell and we don't want nobody to go to hell, we would want them to be saved. And so it's very important for us to go out and let them know before they fall in the ditch and help them get out of the ditch or prevent them from falling in the ditch and being eternal judgment, and which they don't have to do if they simply believe. Uh, what kind of responses do you get with, with uh, people on the streets? Well, there's a good portion of them are still in rebellion, and the reason that is is because we're living in the last days, and God said that he would have a strong delusion if it was possible to pull his very elect. There's a lot of people out there caught up in the world's way, Satan's way, and their way, and they're preventing themselves to allow to be open to God's word. So sometimes it's they're putting off blocks for God's word, but if we can open their doors and open their hearts, and, and prepare them for the word, I believe that the word will still uh, uh, minister, convict them, and they'll turn their life over to Jesus. <laughs> and, and how do you deal with, uh, with all the people's attitude towards you? you okay, know, well, the, Bible, the Bible says you, that... You don't have to okay. talk so close. The Bible says that when we come... Your hair will bounce okay. off of that. Okay, when the Bible says that when we come to a town, we don't bring ourselves there. We don't bring the you world. Can, you oh, can speak oh, to yeah. that. We don't bring yeah. the world here. <laughs> when, when we come to a, a town, uh, God tells us not to bring ourselves there. Don't bring the world. Don't bring Satan. So when we bring Jesus, Jesus said, when they accept me, they'll accept you. So when we bring Jesus, they'll either accept Jesus or deny Jesus. So really, when we talk to these people, they think they're objecting to us as if it's us telling them and it's not God through us telling them. So they don't understand. So they put the blame onto us and they try to uh, think there's a battle between us and them. And really, it's a battle between them and God. So it's not really us that they're fighting when they think they are or they would like to believe they are. They're fighting against the Word of God if we're just preaching the Word of God. Well, I had a lot of a lot of people think uh, you talk so much about about sin. Why why do you talk about sin? Well, if we leave out sin, then you we, talk to okay. Uh, if we leave out sin, the bad thing about that is if we leave out sin, then they won't know that they would need to be saved, and it would be foolishness to let them know that they need to be forgiven when they don't know for sure what they need to be forgiven. So it's very beneficial that they need to know that they're sinners and that they're sinning against God, and it's God that's going to judge them, but God's provided a way, so they need to know that they need to fault and trust in Jesus so they can know what it is when they receive him and they got to put on his righteousness in order to continue to be ready for Jesus when he comes so it's not just about being saved it's putting on the Lord Jesus Christ here's a man out here looks like you've had a little bit to drink huh yeah, yeah. but I, I, I believe God will set this man free. I mean, yes, you're walking in the streets. It's, you know, it's Saturday night, and you're, you're trying to have a good time, huh? Do you know? That, I'm have you, praying my whole, whole life. Well, who you been who you been praying to your whole life? Jesus. <laughs> who is the Jesus? Tell me. Okay, Ed. There, here's a person I who you. you know. A lot of people think that talking to these kind of people that have a little bit too much to drink they can't really comprehend yeah, that's true. but we believe that God is a miracle working yes. God we believe in the supernatural we think he could sober you up in a split second now look we're Jesus gonna tell you said. who Jesus is Jesus is God right okay Jesus, Jesus rose from the dead amen and Jesus oh, wants man. to set you free from the alcohol problem you have yes you've been indulging in alcohol amen. and you're poisoned right now you have poison Jesus running through Christ. your body can you understand that yeah I understand 
I know. And we don't want you to kill yourself with alcohol. We right. don't want you to kill. See, there's an invisible realm to... right out here, isn't that? There's an invisible yeah. realm. You see it? You want to? Oh. I can. I can give you two, two signs. Two times what? Two, two signs. Love, all, survive. And I need to, God sober this man up so that he I can understand. Like that. that's what he sober needs. him up that's, that he can understand he in the name of Jesus. Jesus. I ask you to sober this man up that he can, he can receive you as, as, as his Lord and Savior. You need to be born again. You're filled with demons. Come out of him right now, alcohol. Come I out of him in the name of Jesus. Yes. In the name of Jesus. No, you're bothered, you're upset, you're convicted, you're lonely, you're insecure, and only Jesus Christ can heal the wounds and the scars in your life that you're drinking away. Okay, you are so, right. I know. I'm wrong. <laughs> now, wrong. will you humble I'm yourself and confess your sin and ask I'm Christ? Wrong. Okay. Are Tell you God got... you are now. Tell God you're wrong. Say, God, I'm wrong. I, I, I disobeyed you. I'm an evil doer. Please forgive me. Help me. Help, cry out to God. Cry out to God. That's the name of their ministry right now, by the way. <laughs> cry to God and there tell God are. that he wants to help you in you, the I'm condition you're in. You. No, you I can't, I can't me. do, I can't, I can just show you where you can get the bread. You've got to ask for the bread and the bread comes from God, not from me. I can tell you, you need the bread. I, know, I, I can know. tell you how know. to get the bread, but it's you that's got to ask God for the bread. So ask Jesus to forgive you. Ask God to forgive you. Tell God it's wrong for me to be an I alcoholic. I, no, tell God that I shouldn't be drinking and I'm wrong. I, I, I'm going against you, God. I'm killing your okay. temple. I'm not glorifying okay. you being drunk like this. Tell God Nobody you're not glorifying. You know tell God you're sorry for not glorifying him. <laughs> and you know, a lot of people think that that these okay, people, we're, we're not, we're not going to be able to reach them. I know. I mean, do you, I mean, do people get, get saved? Have you, has God brought in fruit now? God. Yes, it can happen, but it doesn't usually happen. It, they got to get sober. They got to, they got to come to where they can make the decision without any interruption or being controlled by Satan, by drugs or alcohol. I know a guy that uh, on Bourbon Street that used to go in and bars okay. and, and try to win them, and it wasn't very successful. But the Lord care. said, "Get them sober, God let them, and they'll be safe." Yeah. That's here's hard. a here, here's a card. We does. we want to give you a track. I, uh, okay. On this is a track. Protection. No, I know you should throw those things okay. away. Those are demonic. Those, those are, are demonic. demonic. Those are I evil. Want to bless. No, those are evil. Those but, don't but, do well, anything. Want, what we want to do throw is put those it in away. your heart so they can't That's take that I away. Want. Yeah, throw those things no, away. No, it's no good on the outside. It needs to be on the inside. Jesus needs to come said, on the inside, not heart. on the middle. He did. Well, you throw my heart if you want to throw. No, no you no, open no. your heart to him. Open your heart to the Lord. I'm very <laughs> hey, hey, I, I hey, I appreciate, I appreciate you letting me uh, into your That's life right. and yeah. hear why, um, you know, you go out God, on the street and, and minister to people. And you want God That's to do a miracle. I, we want God to do a miracle in this, Maybe I in this young cry. man. And, yes, we do. And I, I still That's believe I that even when he is sober, that God can Maybe bring I, to his remembrance. Right. That's correct. Bring to his remembrance the word right. that Nobody we speak. Did. See, the word of God is quick in power and sharper than any two-edged sword. It reveals right. and divides and uncovers. That when, when Jesus comes to you and says, I am the way, it's I am the bad. truth, I am the life, and there's no way under the Father except through me. You need to come to that revelation Amen. in He's repentance, in confession of He's sin, and call upon him. And he will wash away your sin and he will deliver you from the alcohol problem yes, you have. Will. You have a problem. You have an alcohol problem. You're out here drinking because you do not like your life, the reality of your life. Oh, you guys all need to come. You need to come to Jesus. Why do you boast in your sin? Oh, why do you? Why are you I full of pride? God. I love God, man. Oh, if God. you love God, love then you would walk so with Jesus much. and obey Him. Come on, tell people about. Oh, people. we we see we love people. Ed and I, we care about people. Amen. We're concerned love about this guy. So uh, this guy's soul, and so we go out on the street and we have to deal with people that have had a little bit uh, 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 much uh, alcohol. We got to deal with people that are just clubbing and wanting to look at these women that are walking yeah, by. 
But we love and people. Love. Dad loves people. Yeah, and we, loves we people want too. you to go out and love people. Right. Oh, just okay. love them. Love them 